Hey, hello there, uh, what's up? It's uh, me, an 80, and I'm back on track with a brand new and awesome video on the channel in VR. That's right. Today we are going to play Moss, a third person action adventure puzzle game that takes classic components of a great platformer such as compelling characters, gripping combat, captivating world exploration, and combines them with the exciting opportunities of VR. In Moss, you will meet up with Quill, a young mouse with dreams of greatness beyond the confines of her settlement. While exploring the woods, she finds a mysterious piece of glass and an ancient magic is awakened. With her uncle now in grave danger, Quill must embark on an epic journey and eat you by her side. Together you'll travel to forgotten realms, solve challenging puzzles and battle menacing enemies. The spirit of Mars is that alone, no one can conquer what you're up against, but united you just may defeat even the darkest of villains. And that sounds uh, pretty cool to me. Now it's time to check this one out and jump right into the metaphors. Uh, let's -a go! Wow. Check this place out. This is beautiful. This is really, really nice. Are we in a library? I think so. Interesting. Anyway, let's open this ancient book. It's going to tell us the story of Mars. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a butterfly. What is this dark sorcery? This book, it's enchanted. Let's dive deeper into the rabbit hole. Ooh. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Of course. I want to be a part of this story. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Oh no. Poor people. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding, one of the fabled glass relics. Ooh. I'm getting more and more curious. <laughs> Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed, but the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that fated night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Ah. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the <laughs> impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. That's good to hear. What happened next? Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. 
Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. What a beautiful way to die. I'm not kidding. He became a tree. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Oh. What is that? Oh, hello. He was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. So cute. <laughs> Adorable. Hi. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh! That was a uh, close one. Nice hiding spot. It's magic. Magic in a bag. Oh. What just happened? She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering oh! down at her. It's a bee! Lady! Haha! <laughs> Sweet! Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. I'm a spirit. A guardian. Sweet. Let's uh, explore this stunning world. I'm ready. Okay. Ah, a butterfly. Come back here. <laughs> I want to catch you. How do we... Oh, you want me to... No problem, no problem. Happy to uh, help you out. <laughs> the animations. They are so cool. And this level, it's extremely colorful. Night, oh. our uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. I can interact with the environment. That's a uh, refreshing gameplay mechanic. I love uh, third person uh, platforming uh, games. It's one of my favorite genres in uh, VR. Oh, you found a scroll. Hmm, gotta catch them all. Edge of nowhere, lucky still. Man, those games. They are so magical to play from a third person perspective, from a god view. And it's the same for Moss. Oh, we can destroy crates and barrels. 
I don't know what they give me. Health, XP, who knows? Time will tell. Oh, it's a fortress. I'm having a blast so far. Damn graphics. The PlayStation VR keeps surprising me. Ah! Being a part of the story is really, really cool. I mean, I can help Quill out by opening doors, moving objects. It gets me more involved. Haven't seen that before with a third person uh, title. Good day. Whoa! No way! Oh, the level design. It's on point. Fantastic. Well done, developers. Shout out to you. There is so much to see. So much to do. Oh! Hey, what's up, kids? Oh. Your mom is calling. Get back into the house. Did you catch anything? No? Well, good luck. Can we go to the other side? I don't think so. He's uh, blocking the way. And I don't think I can swim. No. Let's uh, continue. One last glimpse of this village. See ya later, alligator. I can't talk with the villagers. Oh, we need to get this uh, bridge up and uh, running. How are we going to do that? Oh, by... Ah. Oh. Oh, that was a uh, fast uh, trick. Nice one. Whoop, whoop. A scroll. Well hidden indeed. We are deep inside the forest. A happy place. It smells great. It does. Slow but steady. Oh! Oh! Yes! We did it! Bam! Monster and his friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. That's me! I'm your new friend. I hope you like me. <laughs> I don't know. Come here. Come here. Aww. <laughs> Cuteness overload. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Correction. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle. Let's I go. Once he saw her discovery, he lose himself in tales of its legend. A squirrel. I hope the squirrel is not my uncle though. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's bright. My eyes. Take it easy there, game. 
Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Uncle, listen up. It's important. We found Her something. As she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Ooh. Just west of the clearing? She explained, and as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader, with you, here, right now? Yes. Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would, but this reader has chosen. Oh. I did? I'm getting dragged into this. Oh, intense uh, story. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone. Here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Aww. Sad. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly. Wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. I'll be back. Whew. Whew. I want to know more. Ah. Oh. Wake up. Psst. Psst. Hey. Hey, kid. Kid. Wake up. What is that? <laughs> Over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Okay. Hey, starting. Wait. Yeah, wait. I want to check my uh, uncle's house out. We found a scroll. Hey, that's the map. And that's the bee from the start of the book. That's a hint. That must be a hint. Is there anything else we can do here? I don't think so. Ooh. Highly interesting. Let's keep our eyes open. Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? How brave. Open up. Quill demanded answers. Hey. Starting, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? Oh. What do you know? Dead end. 
It's getting darker and darker. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Done. My uncle is sacrificing himself. At least that's what I think he's about to do. We gotta save him before it's too late. Hurry up, Natey, the Guardian. No time to waste! I can't see myself uh, from here. This way, kid. Urge the starling. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Haha. <laughs> I can only see myself if there's water. Oh! Ah, there you are. Oh, that took a while. Slowpoke. Hey, no offense. We are the best team out there. Don't fall. Oh, that's a big old rusty axe. What is this for a swamp? Oh! You see? I can't stop looking at myself. I'm so pretty. Oh. Hey. Just uh, crossing this uh, swamp, that's all. It's all going to be ogre. going to be ogre soon that was an uh, easy scroll it will get harder over time I'm sure ah it's the squirrel but where did your uncle go it's not really my uncle. <laughs> it's Quill's uncle. I have the feeling we... arrived at a... very dark place. A battlefield. I see a shield. A sword. Armor. Helmets. It's a graveyard. Is this where it happened a long time ago? I think so. Just on the other side is the Meyer. The starting assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Ooh. Let's find out. Bye, Secret Squirrel. I hope to see you again. I want to ride it. That would be fun. Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just... Don't go and die on me. I will try. We got a long way to go. Careful. 
Ouch. Oh no. What should we do? Oh, I need to help you? Oh. No need to thank me. The gameplay is so refreshing. This is taking VR to the next level. It is. Platformer wise. No, we can't go there. Hmm. Oh, the statue. Yep. You're a fast one. You constantly run. <laughs> I like that. A bit of speed running is never bad. Okay. Ooh. Jump! Oh! Ah, I screwed up. Let's try again. It's super handy that you can look through walls. I think that will save my uh, life. A lot more in the near future. Ooh, is this an arena? I think so. Oh. Ah. This uh, ghosting trick just got me a scroll. Told you. It's useful. Oh. What should I do? Do I need to fight them? Okay, we got this. We got this. Hoo. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Again. I will have to uh, practice the. Uh, Combat. I don't have a shield, so that's new. Right in the kisser. Who's next? It's Ayu. Perfect. Oh. Open up. There you go. They get controlled by the uh, evil, evil person that. A whisper echoed through the trees. Thought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Oh. A small yet fantastical band of sprites <laughs> emerged surrounding Quill. It's Slippy. Root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. Ooh. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising leader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. No. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? 
If you hurt him... Silence! Theta thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled <gasps> as Veda continued. Oh. He's put himself at great risk calling for us. Ah. Uncle, what did you do? Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Your reader? Oh no, that's me. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Ruthseer, she's minuscule. Come now, the reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. Oh, he's extremely jealous. This is not going to end well. A scroll. I need it. I need it. My precious. Gollum. Gollum. Almost there. Ooh. It's gonna be a big jump. Ooh. <gasps> ah. At least you tried. We'll do it again. Or can I? No, I can't uh, <laughs> pick it up myself. We can't uh, cheat, Quill. It's not gonna happen. Oh, what? What? I will try one last time. If not, we will just uh, continue. I want to show as much of the game as I can. This should work. It's not that hard. Ooh. We got it! The whispers. Spooky scary. The music and the sounds, they are on point. Very on point. <laughs> Same as the level design. I keep on repeating myself, I know, but my mind is blown by the awesomeness. Of Mars. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, out of play area. Whoops. Happens. Thanks for the warning, though. It was Quill's favorite story. How Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane and secured the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt like a great honor. So magical.
It's an honor to fight by your side, Quill. Oh! A scroll! Go get it. I will help you to get to your uncle, and in the meanwhile, you collect those scrolls for me. <laughs> Best trade ever. Ooh. More puzzles. A good brain training. The gate is closed. Hmm. Not for long. So far the puzzles aren't that uh, challenging. But that will change. I'm sure. It's the same for the hidden secrets that aren't that hidden at this very moment. We'll get there. What was that for a sound? Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I mean, this place is a little haunted, so that explains a lot. Let's go deeper into the dungeons. Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh, it's a scroll. But first, let's fight the enemy. Okay. This is Sparta. Let's take them out. Ha. Too slow. Come on. Oh, 2v1, not fair, but it's over, let's stand on this uh, platform, do I need to, I need to pull it, oh, I see, I see. I really, really hope they will bring Moss to PC. I would love to jump into a DeLorean right now and uh, find out. That's, that's the only way. Ah! A scroll. It seems like every level you enter contains a scroll tries to hide it from you ah oh, this is a very relaxing experience Why would you even do that? Oh no, oh no. I will have to destroy this first. Hello, oh! Die! Another one? Are you kidding me? We will have to burn them so they can't lay more eggs. Oh, he mad. He very mad. Ooh. Totally worth it. Oh wait, it's it's glowing. Can I... Oh, we can... Oh, now I get it. So we can control these... 
creatures. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Smart. I'm a pro. I'm playing VR games for nearly five years now, so... I know what I'm doing. Oh! Ah! An elevator. An elevator to the moon? An elevator to Mordor? I don't know. Ooh! It's so funny you can <laughs> touch the plants. It makes no sense, but you, but you can if you want to. Freedom. The possibilities are endless. The music starts playing. That means we are close to a solution. Ha! Starts moving. Oh. Oh. Up, 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 up. Jump! Ooh. Oh! Oh, I fell down. But wait. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, this is going to be a fast one. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, ouch. This is all about timing. Hey. Much uh, safer. Can I go to the back? I can. We will have to... There's a wall. Oh, it's part of the uh, elevator. Spikes. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, out of area. I need to stay in my bubble. I got an idea. We will uh, crush the enemy. We will kill it. Stay there, stay there. Oh, you are going to be so screwed! Ah! What? It disappeared? <laughs> How even? Uh. Magic. <laughs> Weird. He disappeared into a, a wormhole. Hey, you are back on track. Reborn. Good for you. Ah. Ooh. What is this for a uh, contraption? I see a platform. Let's uh, test it out for science. Oh. Wait, I can't jump. No. No, I can't jump. This one closest to... What if you stand on the other one? It's still closest. Oh, you activated... The bottom level. But how should I... I can't jump. Hmm, this is a uh, tough nut to crack. I could maybe stand inside and then jump. No, that's that's too far. I 
don't understand. Ah! Ah! It's not that hard, Natey. Just use your brain. Oh, we can destroy these for you. I think I need to go to this one. Yep. <laughs> I played so many puzzle games. So, I practiced. A lot. Oh, what? Oh, high five. <laughs> yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, there's more. I haven't spotted a scroll. Suspicious. Uber suspicious. Ah, yeah. Sehr gut. Ooh. La la. This looks like an important place. We are onto something. This could be a trap too. Is it safe? Hope so. Hmm. How do we open this one? There's a... Can I... No. Doesn't work. What about these... Torches? Ah! It's still not opening. That's a shame. How disappointing. How anticlimactic. Oh, there are two more torches here. Hey! Now we can go. Open! Still doesn't open. I don't understand. Does not compute. We need more. A key. A large key. For that large door. This looks like another arena. Yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we are getting surrounded. Well then. Bring it on, I'm ready. Let's fight. Ooh, ha! Ooh, can we? Yes, we can. Ooh, ooh! Ha-ha! You will never take me alive, never. Oh, Ooh. close call. I think I need to I can't jump on this thing. Oh. Miss, near miss. <laughs> oh. Hey, no, no, I fell. That's what you get when you want to hunt down all the uh, scrolls. <laughs> it's the only punishment. Killing yourself. 
because you want it so bad. Or having to try hard. Two options. Don't shoot me! Ow! Ooh. Are you okay? Ah, I think so. If not, just tell me. You can be honest. We are a team, remember? <laughs> Aww. Okie dokie. A lever. We should go for the lever. I'll move this for you. So as a reader, I decide how this story is going to end. That's a big responsibility. Die, 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 die. Oh, what are those? I think I will have to get this enemy onto the platform and then I can just go there. Problem is, they... Wait, they can't jump. No. They want me to... What? I feel like dancing, dancing. <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh! Oh, it can shoot! It can shoot! Oh, 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 oh. Wait here, wait here. Give me a moment. Yes. Oh, I have to. Ha, <laughs> of course. How obvious. Ooh, this is hard to... Done. Now die. Thanks for the help. Really appreciate it. Should we go left or right? I will go left. Oh, we are back at the main entrance. That's not it. Ooh. Can I... No. <laughs> that would have been too easy. Pull! Huh. Oh, I'm so strong. Ha ha ha. Oh? Wait. Okay, I think that's... Uh... Oh. Do we need to kill this one? Oh. Ah, I can't see it that well. Whew. Oh no. How do I... Hmm. Oh. That was a bit too much. Okay. I think we will have to activate this lever first. How do we get there? Well, not by jumping. And there's a scroll too. Oh! You were doing it right. Ha! All according to plan. Yes, come out, come out. You will have to shoot one. 
think that's exactly what we need. And now you will shoot it again. No, wait, that's the wrong one. Go to this angle. No, he can't reach the one in the in the far right corner. So what does that mean then? What? Oh, she's giving me hints. Sweet. Yeah, I know I need to shoot in a way. I get it. But how? And where? So, if you shoot, it goes up and down. Oh. Got it, got it. First, I need to go back for the scroll. He's not going to be amused. I will have to uh, keep him under my control. Yes! Now Get over here. Okay. I think we got it. Yes, 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 yes. I need to turn this one off. Right, okay. Whee! Haha. <laughs> oh, the interaction. Ooh, a chest. Is this a trap? Oh, I can grab pots. <laughs> I didn't knew that. There's a lot I don't know. Moss is not holding your hand. It wants you to discover things by yourself. Especially the interaction uh, fired. Please let it not be a trap. A shield! That's exactly what we need! Here, take it. You need it more than me. Or do I need to carry it for you? Okay. I can do that. Oh wait, it's not a shield, it's a it's a part of the door. Ah, uh, bomber. I want a shield to protect myself. Ooh. Ah. This is it. This is our moment. Oh. Click. Is it stuck again? Oh. 
That's a big one. Wow. There you are. I see a platform. No. That's not it. That's a stunning looking door. I gotta say. Here! Okay. Oh. What? Tell me. The fact she's giving me uh, clues is super handy. Ha <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too easy. Too easy. Let's take them out. Sweet dreams. You can just knock them out. Oh. It's on. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Oh, it just exploded by itself. <laughs> How even? More? Ow. Fast. Ooh. Okay. Oh. We should stay on this one. Oh, don't shoot at Quill. This definitely feels like a, a mini boss. One eternity later. I finally, finally figured it out after killing tons and tons of enemies. We had to keep on pulling the, the chain. That's it. That's all. Okay. Take them out. Oh. oh, there are so many. Oh, no. Get back into the fight, soldier. He's a bit stuck. He's surrounded by his colleagues. Oh. How many... Are there? It's like a never ending story. Oh, no! You will never, never take me alive, never. Unlimited power. Ah. 
Ah. Whew. Whew. Yes. We did well. <laughs> oh. Will felt a swell of pride as she approached the cavern river. Its guiding banks once led her people to safety after the cinder night. Now, all these years later, she would follow it back. Fantastic. The level design. Ten stars. Oh, that's the castle. Ooh. Quill's muscles ached and her eyes grew heavy. She decided it best to set up camp and rest before journeying on to the castle. Hey, kid. Good. You're alive. The starling spoke as it circled the campfire. Will gasped in shock as the starling unveiled monstrous wings and curled horns. Who? Hmm? Descended, talons gleaming. Oh dear, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not scared, Quill replied. I just didn't know starlings were feathered. This starling thing's gotta go, kid. The name's Adurin. Nice to meet you. Aren't feathered. Only me. I'm working on it. Let's just say choosing the wrong friends comes with the price. But you seem like a good friend to have. Thanks. I think. Quill readied her meal and paused to take in the strange winged creature who now held her friend. <laughs> Aww. Of stars loomed over the sky. Their campfire conversations deepened. He's all I have. If I lose him, I don't know what I'll do. Confided Quill. Adurin looked down at his wings. If I help you find him, can you help me? <sighs> if we can, we will. Starling. I mean, Adurin. Although Quill was far from the safety and comfort of her nook in the cottage, her exhaustion led her into a deep sleep. Hey, Ghostface. A lot of folks have been waiting for a reader like you to return. Oh. I know I have. <laughs> I'm going to scout the castle up ahead. Keep her safe, okay? For both our sakes. I promise. I will. <laughs> you talk to me. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Wake up. Hello. You ready? Hope so. <laughs> Aww. Cushy, 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 cushy. Okay, so I think I'm going to uh, stop here for now. 
Let's uh, jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's -a go. See you later. Bye. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, was Mass for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this action-packed adventure. If you did, then you know what to do. Also, if you want to see more of this game, then be sure to slam that like button as always, or simply show your support in the comments below. That would be nice. So yeah, I gotta say, Moss is a great platformer that takes the uh, third-person VR genre to the next level. First of all, the story of the game gets your attention straight away. You open the book and it literally sucks you into the world of Moss. Not much later, you find out that you are a ghost and that your mission is to protect Quill and that you will have to join her on a wild adventure. All of this together has been very well timed. It happens in the first 15 minutes and as a player, you get hooked from the very start. Being involved with the story and the character's faith so early is super important. It allows you to build up a friendship right away and it gives you a goal too. Now you know who you are, what your duty is and where you are heading. Next up is the gameplay. Honestly, I haven't played many games on the PlayStation that are gamepad only. In the age of motion controllers, this seems to slowly fade away, but there are still developers out there taking the challenge. I'm happy they do, because uh, third-person VR games are extremely rare. Anyway, as a uh, ghost, aka uh, guardian, it's your objective to solve puzzles together with Quill. The awesome part is that both of you have different controls. Quill can run, jump, activate and fight by using gamepad's uh, buttons and thumbsticks, while you have to make use of the gamepad as a motion controller. You can use your tracked PlayStation gamepad to move objects, possess enemies, interact with your surroundings and most importantly you can revive Quill. This combination is simply freaking genius. So the puzzles you need to solve in Moss go from easy to average to super hard, but in the end all of them are a very good brain trainer. Of course, at the start of every VR title, the first few puzzles are a warm-up for the tougher ones later down the road. That's why I think that every noob and pro will have a great time in this one. It's a very user-friendly game that doesn't have that much controls you need to worry about. The puzzles in Moss usually want you to move certain objects, enemies and sometimes require you to control Quill while you are also making use of your track gamepad. If you can't solve a puzzle, then don't worry, if you wait long enough, Quill will try to explain you what to do. This is usually enough to make you realize what you need to do exactly. Moving on to the graphics. The art style and the overall world you can explore is definitely one of the most beautiful ones I've ever seen within the metaphors. Everything feels and looks so colorful, adorable and heartwarming. The camera angles the developer picked are perfect and give you a nice overview of all the stunning locations you travel to. The graphics are simply impressive and it's the same for the level design. It all plays super smooth without any real confusing moments. It all makes sense the game doesn't need to hold your hand. Everything seems to be so organized and points you into the right direction from the very beginning. I also noticed that Moss is a really detailed and alive looking game. For example, leaves are falling off trees, fireflies are appearing at night and there is a lot of stuff happening outside of your play space. Like the deer that was uh, resting and drinking with its colleagues. These uh, things really give you a sense of scale. As I said before, the animations of Quill the mouse are on point. When you climb a wall or when you fight an enemy, it doesn't matter. It all moves nicely together and that's why I would like to say to Polyar Games, you nailed this part. Well done, Nati totally approves. I have rarely played a VR game that has such great animations. I should also not forget to mention the music and the sounds because they really add up to the immersion as well. In short, I would like to say that the scrolls you collect in game are slowly piecing themselves together and will turn into a beautiful drawing. You can check your progress on your table in the library. The only negatives I could come up with is that uh, Moss is a bit short, that Quill doesn't have many fight moves and that some puzzles could have been more clear behind the walls. The playtime might be a bit disappointing, but remember, in return you get a super polished adventure. I give this game a 9 out of 10. If you are into platformers with a solid story, refreshing gameplay, challenging puzzles and a cute ass mouse as the main character, I would definitely give Moss a try. Links will be in the description below.
below. And that's about it. I want to uh, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more of Mars, then be sure to uh, slam that like button or simply show your support in the comments below. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye. See ya later. Whew. Yes.